presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, Mr. Omoye Leishoure. Good afternoon, everybody. I, on my way here, made a promise not to talk about any other candidate but myself. So I want to thank uh, the leadership of ICANN for demonstrating better judgment than the Nigerian Bar Association, who did not invite the rest of us. Uh, but having said that, I also want to congratulate those of you who made a bet today that one candidate will not show up. Congratulations, you won. And the candidate that did not show up, please listen to this, is supposed to be an accounting guru from his Chicago State University. But he refused to show up at the most important accounting event in Nigeria today. Don't forget that I said I will not talk about other candidates. But the country Nigeria and the future of Nigeria cannot also continue to live or expect unsustainable candidates in 2023. Uh, you guys are aware that the president of Nigeria just presented the budget of Nigeria a few days ago. I wasn't an accountant, but I went into that budget and looked at it legally and discovered that it's an illegal budget. Reason being that the budget violated section 12, subsection 1 of the Nigerian Constitution by way of the Fiscal Responsibility Act of 2007, which says explicitly that the deficit to GDP ratio of the national budget must not be more than 3%. We are now at 5%. That is unsustainable. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I would have loved to stand in front of you and talk about sustainability. It's a very fantastic buzzword for governors. But I'm here mostly to talk about things that are not sustainable anymore in Nigeria. I want to state clearly while you are happy that I talked about another candidate, but I want to talk about one of you that carried out an unsustainable act of accounting, which is the stealing of over 150 billion naira by the accountant general of the federation. That is not sustainable. Oh, are you saying that he's not one of you? Fantastic. 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 All right, I take it back. I take it back. Please, I take it back. And this is why, this is why you must ensure, and I will ensure that the next Accountant General of Nigeria is a member of ICANN. Great accountants, please, let's listen to ourselves. When Ma Okwe Ogun, when Ma Okwe Ogun was asking how many of you live in Abuja, I saw only a few hands, and I was saying to myself, they have driven away the real accountants from Abuja, where they are most needed, so that they can do what they like to do best, cook the books. And this reminded me of a story told by a friend of mine about accountants. They said they went to hell, and a section of hell had all these well-dressed people, and they asked them, who are they? 
He said, there are three categories of them. Some are doctors, some are lawyers, and accountants. And then an angel was brought to hell to pick out the accountants. And when the accountants were removed from this hellish place and they got to heaven, they asked the manager of heaven, why did you bring us out here? He said, well, you guys are accountants. You are the one who prepared everybody that came to heaven. So you might as well be in heaven as well. I want to say clearly that the sustainability of Nigeria depends on a number of things. But number one of it is electing a sound leader in 2023. Please, before you clap for me, I have covered a lot of leaders who instead of serving this country, were serving themselves. I covered a Sikh president about 2008 to 2010, and we know what it cost us. I covered stories about the current man who spent an unsustainable long period of time in London, treating himself. Now I hope and pray that we are not going to elect a bunch of Sikh leaders because, wait, because our country is sick and the sick country need healthy leaders. I have said, next, next, guys, is that when you're talking about sustainability of this country, we must fix our energy sector. There is no country in the world that is going to experience an industrial revolution without energy, without power. And I have said, and I will repeat here, that Nigeria have no business with any individual or political party that was responsible for darkness in Nigeria. I have said, and I'll repeat here, that there's no country that can experience sustainability at the rate of corruption in Nigeria. People play down corruption because of the way the fight against corruption is dramatized in our country. But let me say clearly to you, corruption has destroyed our capability to exist as a people. And we must not take it for granted. And I will tell you that I'm going to need a lot of accountants it's not if, when I become the president of Nigeria, to calculate how much has been stolen from this country since 1960 and give us figures on how to recover them. And I am not going to be one of the presidents who will say to you, bygone is bygone. No. Our past has eaten into our future. We must recover the past so that we can live a sustainable future. That is why we are going to need you. And I have also said that Nigeria's glory, future, progress is not dependent on numbers alone. It will depend on the credibility of people managing the country. This is where you come in, the accountants. We don't want a situation where money has been stolen before we deploy software. We want a country where accountants use software to prevent corruption before they happen. Because we know, we know that as it is today, as it is today, we are spending too much money chasing after money that has been stolen. We do not need that if we deploy digitalization of our, every facet of our lives. It is also the reason why we must sustain a process of digitalization and retrieve Nigeria from analog leaders who think by way of typewriters, whereas we should be thinking in digitalization era. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to assure you that as a presidential candidate and a chartered revolutionary, you will have as the president of Nigeria, someone who has the courage, who's got the credibility, the integrity, and the ability to run a modern state. 
there is no reason why Nigeria or Nigerians should have leaders running into affairs that do not know how to run their own personal affairs. Thank you very much, and I wish you the best going ahead in your conference. Thank you, and have a beautiful day.